This is the second part in a series of videos on using NCYSL in the social studies classroom. In the previous one, we've looked at the top three resources on the left-hand side of the page. Now we're going to continue our way down. We're going to look at the Groiler Online Encyclopedia and just an encyclopedia. Use very similar. You type in your search term at the top and you'll be able to find encyclopedias, magazines, and websites that would help you with that information. also has atlases that are available as well. Um, you have access to world newspapers, which could be a great um, information resource. Uh, but what we're going to focus on right here is a teacher resource. If you go down to the bottom of the page, there's a section that says for educators. And when you click on that, uh, you can go to your subject. Well, you can type it, you push history, or social studies. Let's do social studies. And it's going to break it down by grade level. And so here's 3 through 5. That's not going to be applicable for most of us. But if you look at the 6 through 8 section, you can kind of search for what it is you're looking for. Um, so maybe we're doing uh, research on Egypt. So there's an Egyptian museum, and it gives us a lesson plan that would help us in that area. And it uses the resources from the Groiler Online resources. So that's kind of a short overview of Groiler resource available through NC Wise Owl. Um, then there's newspapers, which will give us uh, full text newspapers. Uh, we're not going to take the time to look at that one. There's a lands and people resource, but we're going to spend one video just looking at that resource, so we're going to skip that for now. And then there's also an ebook center. You click on the ebook center, there's a bunch of resources that are helpful. Most of these resources are helpful either in the science classroom or in the social studies classroom. And the first one is uh, Africa, an encyclopedia for students. And so this is an encyclopedia, a full text encyclopedia. Uh, that students can click on this link. Uh, they may need to enter their password, but then they'd have access to that full text encyclopedia. And so there's a bunch of different ones that are available. One, a reference of the United States. And so the great thing about this, uh, when we're away from school, is we have access to all these great resources that students can do their research at home, and so I would really try and introduce some of these resources uh, to students during class so that they re recognize how to have access to these uh, at home. The next resource we're going to take a look at um, is going to be the video collection. And so within the video collection, we have a collection of PBS videos and Britannica Media click on those, you'll see that, um, now this is very similar to, this is the high school site actually, but within the Britannica there's actually some videos that we can uh, watch as well, that would be very helpful. Um, there's, in the middle section here, there's some helpful resources that you can find, especially if you're studying about North Carolina, there's the Carolina Clips, um, North Carolina resources, but one of the key ones here is going to be primary source websites. And so this has a whole list of primary source websites, and it's kind of overwhelming all of these. Um, the one, I've kind of searched through them, the one that I found the most helpful to me and the best organized was the American Memory one, which is nice because it's the first one. Uh, but you could search for what it is that you're looking for, um, and there's a lot of different searchable terms, but it has a lot of primary source documents. This just this shows a collection highlight of Abraham Lincoln, and so you can see some of the information that's available through Lincoln, even his letters, and it shows his actual writing, and then it has a, what he wrote, wrote in that actual writing. Um, so, so very interesting primary source documents, and I realize our curriculum is asking us more and more to find those and have students engage with those topics.